to your response and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, artist response. Mm -hmm. A lot of questions people people ask. Mm, do you recommend going to art school? Why or why not? Uh, do I recommend going to art school? Um, I think it's great for those who really want to go into college and uh, have a college experience. And they, if they also want to you know, explore different styles with other artists, I think it's a great experience. I, I went to um, college for one year and studied art. Um, but I don't think it's necessary for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, some people just like to do their own type of art on their mm -hmm. own, just mm -hmm. like some musicians just want to do their own music on their own. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary to study it in school. However, there, there are some benefits. So if, it's, if, if you really want to do it, and if uh, you think that you would do well in college, then I say go for it. That's, a, that's actually a good, good uh, response. So um, you said going to high school is all based on you if you really want to go for it. But what if mm -hmm. someone really want to do it, but they can't afford it? What would you recommend? Yeah, so um, that's always that's always uh, a risk or um, consider consideration you, you have in mind when going to school for anything, really. College is so expensive these days. Um, but really, you have to... I was debating over this uh, for, for a long time before going to school. Mm -hmm. And for me, I just... I was, I've always been passionate about it and I've always done it my whole life. So sometimes you just don't know the answer mm -hmm. and what you have to go with is what is something that you've been consistent with and you've been consistent with your whole life. Um, it's something that really means a lot to you at the end of the day. So if you don't think it's really worth it, then okay, then it's not worth it. But if it's something that you want to do, mm -hmm. then there's always way to, there's always ways to make up money but there's not ways to make up time. So if you utilize wow. your time doing something that doesn't really matter to you, then it's all wasted in the end. All right. So do you think, based on, that's, that's a really good advice, uh, telling people to follow their passion instead of money. Was that the main mm -hmm. point of that? Um, yeah, like, like you gotta, like, at the end of the day, you're, you only live so many days in your life. You, yeah. you only have a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, you can get money back. Um, you know, you might have to pay back loans over the course of many years. Um, Keep on sketching. And, uh, you know, that may be annoying, but uh, you have to follow, you have to follow what, what you feel is right. Do, do what makes you happy because that's going to be worth it. Um, you know, live life without regrets, but live it wisely. Yeah. And that's all plays into uh, the money factor because going to college, you gotta look at, it, especially art school. It's expensive compared. I think it's the most expensive uh, tuition for a college, the artistic field, mm -hmm. compared to every other industry. So most mm -hmm. likely you're gonna be paying a huge amount. So you saying live your life wisely. You can mm -hmm. go to art school, but. Would that be the wisest decision to get accumulate that much debt and get out of high school and have to pay that much back to the school? Because it won't be you working because you want to be happy. I feel like it may be you working just to pay off whatever tuition. And it's going to kill your whole dream of just being an artist who just want to create art. Do you mm -hmm. think... Um, where well, I want to wrap this. I feel like I just answered my own question, so <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come up with another one. Like another art, artist asks, "Do you feel like everyone need to be really good or model their artwork after other people work?" Um, I think it's necessary. Okay, so I think it's first necessary to determine how important art is to you. Right, so if you have a certain priority in life, then, uh, or, you know, you, you have a list of priorities and you kind of set them up the way you want it based off of what you want to create in your life. So if you say, um, being, uh, being like financially um, successful mm -hmm. um, is very important to me, um, having family is not so important to me, 
um, and then, you know, just, you know, enjoying everything that comes to me in life, just like, you know, very expensive things that you just want to do in life. Mm -hmm. It's not as important, but it might be important. So mm -hmm. um, the way you would place that is kind of, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into a career field that's very prof profitable or very lucrative. I'm not going to decide to start filming until way later, until mm -hmm. I have that my first priority done. And then I might meet, you know, enjoy some high, very expensive activities in the meantime. So um, that's just an example. Um, I don't know if it's the best, but that's just an example of how you want to set up things based off what your priority is. So the first thing is, is figure out what exactly you want to do. And then you can kind of carry yourself from there. Um, does that answer your question or does that relate to it? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, do you think you're doing the right thing right now compared to a lot of artists? Like, are you really focusing on art or are you just doing, uh, are you following your own advice that you're giving, mm -hmm. saying follow your passion instead of money? Are you actually doing that? Um, so that's kind of a tricky question. I can't really compare myself to other artists or other people because every artist is an artist. So they're like very individual uh, you know, they they just do their own thing, mm -hmm. and so I don't like to compare it to what all artists are doing. But right. um, that's true, that's for true. my life right now, um, I've kind of go gone through like a series of is it really is what I'm doing really making me happy, um, and how can I incorporate different things that I want to get out of life and make it the best version for me. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm doing Java programming, doing a program called Year Up, mm -hmm. and you know it's it's very hectic and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lot of workload, but I decided that I I don't need to spend as much time obsessing over great grades or perfect grades, um, in order to get back to what what is really meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. So art is very meaningful to me. So I I think that I'm taking my advice into hand. Um, yeah. Alright, that's that's really good. That's that's some really good response. Let me see all the questions artists usually wonder about, especially uh, have you ever worked for a client and how did you handle it? If you actually worked for a client and whatever demand they asked you to do, did you handle it the way they wanted you to? And how did you go about it? Um, so, yeah, there's, so there's some people who wanted me to do things for them, um, for, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> um. She right now. So. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I forgot the question. I said, um, a lot of artists, they get caught up on if they have to work for somebody, how would they handle it? And if they are handling the right way based on what of artistic style they have, maybe it's not the strong suit. So have you ever had a client that you worked for and it wasn't your strong suit and how'd you handle it? Yeah, I think uh, everyone kind of comes across a moment where they don't really know what they're doing or or let's put it like this, they, they, um, they take on a task that they don't have full 100% confidence in or experience or knowledge in. Um, and that's always going to happen in any field you want to go to, whether it's art or not art. So, um, so I guess one specific situation, um, actually the very first situation was um, a graphic design. Um, Keep on trying. A, a Keep graphic on trying, by the way. A graphic design, um, what was it, postcard that I was doing. And yeah, for, and so for this postcard, it was actually the first, I've never I had never done graphic design before. Mm -hmm. um, I had always kind of admired it, and I wanted to take it in high school, but I never got a chance to. Um, so this lady, she knew that I was an artist, and she asked me to design it, and I just thought it was a very cool idea. I had no idea mm -hmm. um, how to actually perform the task, but um, I was like, sure. Um, in any case, I would learn how to do it. Um, and you know, get her her results. So, I spent uh, maybe six hours to eight hours that day just trying to, um, 
you know, make it make it the best I could, um, and really give her like the best product. Because I I think if you make something for someone, you should give your best effort. Because mm -hmm. it is a representation of you at the end of the day. Good, that's good. Um, but um, yeah. So I just I just went online and just used different tools. I didn't have Photoshop at the time. I didn't have Illustrator. I didn't even know what those things were. But I just looked up online like some free tools that I could use to make something digital. Because at that point I had only done um, traditional art, you know, painting and drawing. Um, so, but I at the end of the day I ended up making it and it ended up looking good. And um, that was like one of the most creative times I had been because it was just a whole bunch of different images combined into one. And I ended up giving it to her and she loved it. And she used it for her organization. And the organization was f for some conflict resolution mm -hmm. um, uh, organization, and it helped youth. So I was pretty proud of it. One, I had made something new mm -hmm. uh, without having any knowledge in it. Mm -hmm. uh, two, I got to help someone. And three, uh, the results were good. So that's just one example where I, I had no idea how to do something that someone had asked me. But at the end of the day, you know, if it's a field that you're passionate about, mm -hmm. then I think you'll learn to make it happen. And if not, if you don't, if you feel like you really can't do it, there's nothing wrong with trying it or, you know, saying that, um, you know, you're, you're not that confident in it um, or you don't exactly know how to do it. Um, just, you know, see it in a professional manner and try to do the best you can. Hmm. That's that's really good. That's a good response. Uh, I recently spoke to an artist, and he was he looked at my work, and he he was like, uh, "I'm never gonna get that good." And I explained to him, "I've been doing this for about since I was in second grade, and I'm currently in college, so that's a huge life. That's a huge time compared to how long he's been doing it." And a lot of artists will ask, "How can I get better?" faster do you think that's the fastest way or faster way to learn art or any craft you can uh, give an example do you think there's a faster way to learn so art it just depends on the person like how well are you picking up skills um, you know certain skills that you learn in, in school or you know whatever instruction that you had um, you know some people just naturally you just have uh, artistic skills like drawing stuff I mean um, so as for as uh, skills it depends on, on what they're learning so are they learning traditional art are they learning um, more digital art like uh, Photoshop so for the digital there is a kind of learning curve for what you're doing because it involves learning the tools you know going to Photoshop learning uh, rastering uh, there's a lot of different buttons that you're just your eyes and, and your you know mobility has to learn w when you go into those type of programs. Um, it and it all depends on it all depends on what you want to do and want to create in the end. So yeah, you can learn it faster. I mean, anything and with anything, if you put more time into it, you're gonna learn it longer, um, or you might learn it faster. So if he stayed up like maybe a couple of hours later in the night, um, mm -hmm. and maybe he did this for like a week or two or something, then he might get out of it more than as opposed to just taking one class for one hour mm -hmm. every every week or so. So it just depends on, on what you put into it and what you want to create. Some projects take longer to do. If you want a specific Im image or you have a specific specific idea in your head that's like highly graphic, hi highly v vivid, and then it naturally it's going to take a little bit more time to kind of learn the skills that are needed to, to do whatever you're thinking of. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's a, that's a whole, whole lot of advice and really positive. Um, I'm trying to think of one question that I get the most. Uh, how would you promote yourself as an artist? How would you sell yourself? <laughs> so this is something that I also have trouble in. Um, sometimes, um, some people are better at promoting themselves than others. 
Um, actually, for me, then, I think I'm a little bit better at promoting other people, just talking about other people on their streams, because I'm able to see it more than, than I am to, like, just bring out what I've done. Um, but for promoting yourselves, you, you have to utilize um, the tools that you have already at hand. Uh, for example, for actually, let me rephrase that. So for art, mm -hmm. if you want to be a successful artist, it's just like running a business. It's just like running a business. There's marketing involved. Um, marketing is actually the most important skill as for being an artist because you know you need money, you need you need money to pay for the art and everything like that, and you need to get your things sold off. Um, so it involves that. Um, also, just being creative as a, um, to as to what you want to sell exactly. Uh, it's very important. Um, and then how are you going going to utilize the money once you get it, or how how um, let's see. What's the word I want to say? How um, critically you're going to utilize your money. Let's mm. say it like that. Mm. Um, so I'd say it's just like running a business. Uh, you need to utilize pr platforms to run your business, like on YouTube, social media, different areas like that. Um, and it's, it's, it's an ongoing process. And it's not like it just stops. Um, it doesn't stop until you stop, really. Um, yeah. That's that's some good response. I'm not gonna hold a lot of your time because I know we gotta work on the logo. So that was that was some good good advice, Helena. Thank you, Harris. Thank you. Uh, you're gonna be hearing more from Helena in the logo video. So stay tuned. Shit get complicated.